Go ahead and prepare yourself. Find a place where you can sit quietly. In our time together of meditation and prayer for this series, we're asking God to reveal what Jesus called the plank in our eye. That is, we want God to show us what part we are playing in the problems in our world. So now let's take a moment, calm ourselves, and listen now to these words from Psalms 25, 4 through 7. Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me. All day long I put my hope in you. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and unfailing love which you have shown me from long ages past. Do not remember the rebellious sins of my youth. Remember me in the light of your unfailing love, for you are merciful, O Lord. Here is our truth for today. God has compassion and unfailing love for us. He has compassion and unfailing love for you. Take a moment and allow that truth to center you in God's love. Now, because that is true, we can come to God with no fear and look clearly at where we have gotten off of his path. Because he is not condemning, we can ask him to show us our faults and to point us to the road we should follow. God, we ask you right now, in light of your great love for us, to show us where we have put our point of view and our politics in front of our faith in you. Show us the right path to take. Father, we are sorry for getting distracted from your path. And now we want to be like our Father in heaven and show his love and compassion for others. Ask God to show you someone you've been seeing not through his eyes of love, but through another lens of politics or disagreement. Someone who, when you look at them, you see their faults so clearly. Right now, God is going to give you a name or a face. Pray for that person. Ask God to bless them. Also ask that God will help you give to them what he's given to you, grace, in spite of what he knows you have done wrong. Ask God to help us to grant them love and acceptance, even if we disagree, just as he's offered those to us. Ask God to help you not focus on the speck in their eye until you've completely removed the plank from your own eye. And now, Heavenly Father, be with us, your church today, to share your love with the world. For we know you came to the world not to judge the world, but that through your Son the world might be saved. Help us to enter today in that spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.